a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Sarin Sarin, or NATO designation GB, is a highly toxic synthetic organophosphorus compound. A colorless, odorless liquid. It is used as a chemical weapon due to its extreme potency as a nerve agent. Exposure is lethal even at very low concentrations, where death can occur within 1 to 10 minutes after direct inhalation of a lethal dose, due to suffocation from lung muscle paralysis, unless antidotes are quickly administered. People who absorb a non-lethal dose, but do not receive immediate medical treatment, may suffer permanent neurological damage. It is generally considered a weapon of mass destruction. Production and stockpiling of sarin was outlawed as of April 1997 by the Chemical Weapons Convention of 1993, and it is classified as a Schedule I substance. In June 1994, the UN Special Commission on Iraqi Disarmament reported that it had destroyed Iraq's stockpiles of sarin. Health Effects Like some other nerve agents that affect the neurotransmitter acetylcholine, sarin attacks the nervous system by interfering with the degradation of the neurotransmitter acetylcholine at neuromuscular junctions. Death will usually occur as a result of asphyxia due to the inability to control the muscles involved in breathing function. Initial symptoms following exposure to sarin are a runny nose, tightness in the chest and constriction of the pupils. Soon after, the person will have difficulty breathing and they will experience nausea and drooling. As they continue to lose control of bodily functions, they may vomit, defecate and urinate. This phase is followed by twitching and jerking. Ultimately, the person becomes comatose and suffocates in a series of convulsive spasms. Moreover, common mnemonics for the symptomatology of organophosphate poisoning, including sarin gas, other killer bees of bronchorrhea and bronchospasm, because they are the leading cause of death and sludge salivation, lacrimation, urination, defecation, gastrointestinal distress, and emesis. Death may follow in 1 to 10 minutes after direct inhalation. Sarin has a high volatility relative to similar nerve agents. Therefore inhalation can be very dangerous and even vapor concentrations may immediately penetrate the skin. A person's clothing can release sarin for about 30 minutes after it has come in contact with sarin gas, which can lead to exposure of other people. Management Treatment measures have been described. Treatment is typically with the antidotes, atropine and pralidoxime. Atropine, an antagonist to muscarinic acetylcholine receptors, is given to treat the physiological symptoms of poisoning. Since muscular response, to acetylcholine is mediated through nicotinic acetylcholine receptors. Atropine does not counteract the muscular symptoms. Prilidoxime can regenerate cholinesterases if administered within approximately 5 hours. Viperidin, a synthetic acetylcholine antagonist, has been suggested as an alternative to atropine due to its beta blood brain barrier penetration and higher efficacy. Mechanism of action? Specifically, Sarin is a potent inhibitor of acetylcholinesterase, an enzyme that degrades the neurotransmitter acetylcholine after it is released into the synaptic cleft. Invertebrates. Acetylcholine is the neurotransmitter used at the neuromuscular junction, where signals are transmitted between neurons from the central nervous systems to muscle fibers. Normally, acetylcholine is released from the neuron to stimulate the muscle after which it is degraded by acetylcholinesterase, allowing the muscle to relax. A buildup of acetylcholine in the synaptic cleft, due to the inhibition of cholinesterase, means the neurotransmitter continues to act on the muscle fiber, so that any nerve impulses are effectively continually transmitted. Sarin acts on cholinesterase by forming a covalent bond, with a particular serine residue at the active site. Fluoride is the leaving group, and the resulting phosphoester is robust and biologically inactive. Its mechanism of action resembles that of some commonly used insecticides, such as malathion. In terms of biological activity, it resembles carbamate insecticides, such as seven, and the medicines pyridostigmine, neostigmine, and physostigmine. Diagnostic tests 
controlled studies in healthy men have shown that a non-toxic 0.43 mg oral dose administered in several portions over a three-day interval caused average maximum depressions of 22 and 30 percent, respectively, in plasma and erythrocyte cholinesterase levels. A single acute half a milligram dose caused mild symptoms of intoxication and an average reduction of 38% in both measures of cholinesterase activity. Sarin in blood is rapidly degraded either in vivo or in vitro. Its primary inactive metabolites have in vivo serum half-lives of approximately 24 hours. The serum level of unbound isopropyl methylphosphonic acid, a sarin hydrolysis product, Range from 2 plus 135 micrograms slash L in survivors of a terrorist attack. During the first four hours post exposure, sarin or its metabolites may be determined in blood or urine by gas or liquid chromatography, while cholinesterase activity is usually measured by enzymatic methods. A newer method called fluoride regeneration or fluoride reactivation detects the presence of nerve agents for a longer period after exposure than the methods described above. Fluoride reactivation is a technique that has been explored since at least the early 2000s. This technique obviates some of the deficiencies of older procedures. Sarin not only reacts with the water in the blood plasma through hydrolysis, but also reacts with various proteins to form protein adducts. These protein adducts are not so easily removed from the body, and remain for a longer period of time than the free metabolites. One clear advantage of this process is that the period, post-exposure, for determination of sarin exposure is much longer, possibly five to eight weeks according to at least one study. Toxicity As a nerve gas, sarin in its purest form is estimated to be 26 times more deadly than cyanide. The LD50 of subcutaneously injected sarin in mice is 172 grams slash kg. Sarin is highly toxic, whether by contact with the skin or breathed in. The toxicity of sarin in humans is largely based on calculations from studies with animals. The lethal concentration of sarin in air is approximately 35 mg per cubic meter per minute for a two-minute exposure time, by a healthy adult breathing normally. This number represents the estimated lethal concentration for 50% of exposed victims, the LCT50 value. There are many ways to make relative comparisons between toxic substances. The list below compares some current and historic chemical warfare agents with sarin, with a direct comparison to the respiratory LCT50. Production and structure Sarin is a chiral molecule, because it has four chemically distinct substituents attached to the tetrahedral phosphorus center. The sp form optical isomer is the more active in enantiomer due to its greater binding affinity to acetylcholinesterase. The PF bond is easily broken by nucleophilic agents, such as water and hydroxide. At high pH, sarin decomposes rapidly to non-toxic phosphonic acid derivatives. It is usually manufactured and weaponized as a racemic mixture, an equal mixture of both enantiomeric forms, as this is a simpler process, and provides an adequate weapon. A number of production pathways can be used to create sarin. The final reaction typically involves attachment of the isopropoxy group to the phosphorus with an alcoholysis with isopropyl alcohol. Two variants of this process are common. One is the reaction of methylphosphonyl difluoride with isopropyl alcohol, which produces hydrofluoric acid as a byproduct. The second process uses equal quantities of methylphosphonyl difluoride and methylphosphonic dichloride a mixture DD, in this process, rather than just the difluoride. This reaction also gives sarin, but hydrochloric acid as a byproduct instead. The DD process was used by the United States for the production of its unitary sarin stockpile. The scheme below describes an example of DD process. The selection of reagents is arbitrary and reaction conditions and product yield depend on the selected reagents. Inert atmosphere and anhydrous conditions are used for synthesis of sarin and other organophosphates, as both reactions leave considerable acid in the product. Bulk sarin produced without further treatment has a very poor shelf life and would be rather destructive to containers or weapon systems. Various methods have been tried to resolve these problems. In addition to industrial refining techniques to purify the chemical itself, various additives have been tried to combat the effects of the acid such as, 
Another byproduct of these two chemical processes is diisopropyl methyl phosphonate, formed when a second isopropyl alcohol reacts with the sarin itself. This chemical degrades into isopropyl methyl phosphonic acid. Degradation and shelf life. The most important chemical reactions of phosphorohalides is the hydrolysis of the bond between phosphorus and the fluoride. This PF bond is easily broken by nucleophilic agents, such as water and hydroxide. At high pH, sarin decomposes rapidly to non-toxic phosphonic acid derivatives. The initial breakdown of sarin is into isopropyl methyl phosphonic acid, a chemical that is not commonly found in nature except as a breakdown product of sarin. Impa then degrades into methyl phosphonic acid, which can also be produced by other organophosphates. Sarin with residual acid degrades after a period of several weeks to several months. The shelf life can be shortened by impurities in precursor materials. According to the CIA, some Iraqi sarin had a shelf life of only a few weeks, owing mostly to impure precursors. Along with nerve agents such as tabun and VX, sarin can have a short shelf life. Therefore, it is usually stored as two separate precursors that produce sarin when combined. Sarin's shelf life can be extended by increasing the purity of the precursor and intermediates and incorporating stabilizers such as tributylamine. In some formulations, tributylamine is replaced by diisopropyl carbidiamide, allowing sarin to be stored in aluminium casings. In binary chemical weapons, the two precursors are stored separately in the same shell and mixed to form the agent immediately before or when the shell is in flight. This approach has the dual benefit of solving the stability issue and increasing the safety of sarin munitions. History Sarin was discovered in 1938 in Wuppertal Elberfeld in Germany by scientists at Igfarben who were attempting to create stronger pesticides. It is the most toxic of the 4G series nerve agents made by Germany. The compound, which followed the discovery of the nerve agent Taboon, was named in honor of its discoverers, Schrader, Ambrose, Gerhard Ritter, and von der Lind. Use as a weapon In mid-1939, the formula for the agent was passed to the Chemical Warfare Section of the German Army Weapons Office, which ordered that it be brought into mass production for wartime use. Pilot plants were built and a high production facility was under construction by the end of World War II. Estimates for total sarin production by Nazi Germany range from 500 kilograms to 10 tons. Though sarin, Tabun and Soman were incorporated into artillery shells, Germany did not choose nerve agents against allied targets. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries Would you like to know more?